Welcome to Measurement Conversions. Today we're going to focus on understanding linear measurement using customary units. And off we go! Linear measurement is the measurement of distance or length between two points. It always heads in one direction. For smaller objects, we typically use a ruler or a yardstick as a tool to measure length. In the customary system, there are four units we often use to measure length. Listed from smallest to largest, there is the inch, the foot, the yard, and the largest one, the mile. Let's take a closer look at the inch. One of the most important things to take away from this lesson is to have a general idea of what the units in linear measurement look like. Having a reference allows you to estimate the size of an object. If you have never seen an inchworm before, there are a couple shown in this video. These cute little green worms are about an inch long. A small paper clip is another common item that measures close to an inch. If I know how big a small paper clip is, I can use that to estimate the height of another item, say an apple. And if I stacked small paper clips end to end, I would find that the apple might be about four paper clips tall, or make that four inches tall. Hi. Another reference you might use for an inch is this part of your finger. That part of your finger is about the length of an inch. Now let's take a look at the foot. What is a foot? When you piece together 12 inches, you get the next larger unit, a foot. Of course, we also know this is a foot and sometimes you will see people walking across a room foot to foot to get an idea of how big the room is. However, most feet are not quite big enough to accurately measure a room. For a more accurate measure, we use a ruler. Most standard size rulers have at least 12 inches on them. Here's another reference you can use. Hi again, it's me. Um, I'm not sure about you, but my feet are not quite big enough to measure a foot or get anywhere close to it. And I have pretty big feet. So if you're looking for another reference, this part of your arm actually between your wrist and your elbow is a lot closer to a foot than your actual foot is. Now let's take a look at a yard. What is a yard? Well, we all know that this is a yard, but it doesn't really help us with measurement. Like we stacked inches to get a foot, we can stack feet to get a yard, three feet in particular. Three feet makes up one yard. Typically, we would use a yardstick to measure yards. We can also stack inches to make a yard. If there are 12 inches in each foot and three feet in a yard, that means there are 36 inches in one yard. Finding things that measure one yard is not always easy. Remember, our job is to get close. The most common place you will see yards referenced is in good old American football. Each football field is 100 yards long. Players need to move the ball 10 yards to get the first down. However, if you're like me and used to seeing the field from a distance, yards can look much smaller than they actually are. Finally, let's take a look at the mile. The mile is the largest unit in customary measurement. You would need to stack 5,280 feet to make one mile or 1,760 yards. How long is a mile really? The largest customary unit for linear measurement is the mile. You would use that unit to measure any type of travel from one place to the next. 
Brian, Max, and I are gonna go for a mile long walk and you're gonna join us. That was 5,280 feet, 1,760 yards, or one mile. Hope you enjoyed our walk as much as we did. Thank you for joining us. Now it's time to try some on your own. What is the best estimate of the width of this guitar? 14 inches, 14 feet, 14 yards, or 14 miles. Stop the video until you have your answer. The answer is 14 inches. Let's move on and try another one. Number two. What is the best estimate of the height of this guitar? Is it three and two tenths inches, feet, yards, or miles? Again, stop the video until you have your answer. The correct answer is three and two tenths feet. Next one, number three. What is the best estimate of the height of this SUV? 72 inches, 72 feet, 72 yards, or 72 miles? The correct answer is 72 inches. Number four. What is the best estimate of the length of this SUV? Four and a half inches, four and a half feet, four and a half yards, or four and a half miles. The correct answer is four and a half yards. Number five, what is the best estimate of the length of a neighborhood block? 100 inches, 10 feet, 10 yards, or one tenth of a mile? One tenth of a mile is correct. Number six. What is the best estimate of the length of a horse? I know they're not all the same, we're just trying to get close. Eight inches, eight feet, eight yards, or eight tenths of a mile. And the winner is eight feet. And the last question, what is the best estimate of the height of a giraffe? Eight inches, eight feet, six yards, or one mile. And the answer is six yards. Thank you for learning with us about customary units today. In our next video, we will work on converting between units in customary linear measurement. I hope to see you there.